Howdy folks, this is Justro at Matt Calf Mills bringing you Fun Fact Friday because this day and time, facts are hard to come by. I got a good one for you today. It's something I'm real interested in. I always have been. And it's a real good example right here behind me. A real old-timey, old-fashioned spring house. You can see exactly how one works. This is one of the best examples that I can show you. I think you're really going to enjoy it. This is the old reservoir for the house. And this is where the, the water was caught to have a storage. And here you can see the pipes where it drains in right here. And the, the I think the top pipe would be the inlet and the bottom would be the overflow outlet. And that goes over here. And right here is where the water would run out into this bowl catchment. And the purpose of this is they could bring a bucket out here and set it in and fill it up and take it back into the house to use. And you can see on this concrete, it's wore, I don't know if you can see, but it's wore just plumb slick right here. And there's a notch out right here. And I'd say that's from somebody lifting a bucket out. And maybe the bracket on the side of the bucket or something scratching right there or the bottom of the bucket rubbing that and it's cut a groove in there but you got a drain right here for this catchment and that comes out over here i don't we don't know what this pipe was I was talking about it a minute ago but this is a great example of a good old spring house and how they was built now inside here is where the overflow Right here, this overflow pipe out of your catchment bowl runs out. Also here, they did, this was full of water all the time so they could dip a bucket full up and take it in the house. Maybe not set it down and just fill a bucket, but they could dip a bucket all the time. Overflow comes through here, comes into the spraying box right here. Now this section of the spring box was probably used for butter, little shallow vessels, stuff that was not tall. They would set them down in here and that water running all the time kept them cool. Well, when this one fills up, it overflows down into the bigger trough and see it's got a step down system here. And the way that works, if you've got a vessel that's maybe as tall as a quart jar or a pint jar, it would set on this this level and then you got another level here that's about two inches deeper in the water and then down here is your deepest section for your big tall vessels and then you got a drain and an overflow down here so when the water fills this trough up to that level it overflows out right there and this would be setting with the milk cans Anything that you'd put in the refrigerator at home is what they would store in here to keep it cool. And that running water all the time kept it cool. That was the refrigeration. And then they had a big storage area here for maybe crocs. You've heard me talk about pick, pickling crocs. Set them in here where it was cool and they'd keep real good. Very nice. Very, very nice. But that's how the old spring house works. Folks, I hope y'all enjoyed today's Fun Fact Friday. I really did enjoy it. I'd never stopped and examined that spring house before, never had the opportunity, but it's one of the best examples of how a working spring house was built that I've seen. It's a little, I guess you could say more modern than some of the old timey spring houses where they just had a, uh, a trough down in the floor like we've seen on like at the Vance birthplace, just 
a trough down on the ground. They didn't have cement and concrete and all that to to form up and, and make a spring box up high. So they put it right on the ground and lined it with rock. And that's how they done it. But this is a good example of a more modern version of a spring house. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Also, I wanted to say I was a little excited on my meal video yesterday, but I wanted to give a big holler out to my friends at the Holler Homestead. Ben and Meg, they're real sweet people, and they got some sweet children, and it's always nice to get to see them and visit with them. I want to give a big holler out to Ben. He done the machining on my shaft for this mill and also another one. So I wanted to give a big holler out to him. If you don't know the Holler Homestead, go check them out. They're an awesome family, and I just wanted to... After I've calmed down a little bit, I wanted to show my appreciation to Ben for helping me do that machining work. He's a machinist, and I really appreciate it. Check them out, Holler Homestead, right here on YouTube. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you ain't already. Tell your friends about me. And remember the old spring house. This is Justro at Metcalf Mills. I look forward to seeing you next time.